Well, I think being a leader in the cloud really requires a couple of different things. Uh, you know, one is it really requires a great deal of software innovation, uh, both to kind of manage the data centers, to handle networking, and provide kind of the higher level application services. Uh, it really requires global scale um, and the ability to kind of stand up data centers and infrastructure worldwide and be able to operate them very efficiently. And I think it also requires the ability to kind of run your own first party services on top of that. Uh, you know, it's very difficult to build a cloud in isolation. Uh, you really need large applications that are really pounding on it every day in order to kind of uh, build it up, battle harden it, uh, and really test it well. One of the great things about Microsoft is we really have all three of those assets. Um, we've got great software with really innovative features. Uh, we've got global scale. And in fact, we have more data centers and regions now around the world than any other cloud provider. Uh, and not only are we running our customer software on top of that cloud, uh, but we're also running all of our own first party infrastructure as well, whether it's with Skype, which now runs on top of Windows Azure, whether it's with Office 365, which now runs on top of Windows Azure, whether it's with Bing uh, and MSN and many of our other uh, properties uh, running on top of this common infrastructure. Uh, and so, you know, we're, we're really kind of betting our own business on top of it. Uh, and we're really battle hardening it and making sure that our customers can bet theirs as well. What's great about the Microsoft Cloud is it enables you to move very, very fast. Um, I think one of the things that, that people that try out Windows Azure uh, are always struck with was, is how quickly things move. Um, it's you go into the admin tool and you can create a virtual machine in seconds. Uh, you can stand up a database literally in seconds. You can create an active directory system in seconds. Uh, and this ability to move very, very agilely um, and very quickly and very easily, I think is something that really differentiates us. We let you save money. Uh, the great thing about uh, the cloud, and in particular Azure, is the fact that when you don't use something, you don't pay for it. And we let you dynamically spin down resources or databases or websites uh, when you don't need them. We have built-in auto-scale capabilities that let you automatically turn off virtual machines that are underutilized. Uh, and because you only pay by the minute with Windows Azure, that translates into real cost savings. And then what's great about Azure is the fact that it's, it's not only flexible, but it's also consistent. Uh, and you use the exact same set of tools and the exact same programming models and management tools that you use on premise, you can run in the cloud. We use Hyper-V in our virtualization stack in both places, which means if you create a VM inside Azure, you can download it and boot it up on Windows Server on premise and vice versa. Uh, same for SQL, same for .NET, same for Visual Studio, same for System Center. And so organizations can basically bet on one common cloud OS technology and literally run it anywhere, their data centers or ours. We've seen pretty phenomenal growth with Windows Azure the last uh, year in particular. Uh, we've got more than 54% of the largest 500 companies in the world uh, now deployed on top of Windows Azure. And we're signing up about 1,000 new organizations a day right now um, to our cloud. Uh, and we've just seen phenomenal growth in terms of compute and storage and network capability. Uh, and I think we have more than 600,000 SQL databases now running, uh, close to a quarter million websites. Uh, and you know, the growth day in and day out uh, is just fantastic. So it's uh, tremendous growth, uh, uh, but we're still early. And I think you're gonna see even more growth coming in the future. One of the things that's nice about building on top of Windows Azure um, is the consistency and familiarity of the tooling both on the development side and the management side uh, for building those types of applications. And so the cloud does have some unique characteristics that you want to think about uh, as you scale out more than scale up, for example, at certain types of resources. Um, but one of the things that we've done to make it much easier to build on our cloud is really integrated Visual Studio closely with it, uh, really integrated our management studio, or management tools with it, and uh, enable customers to use the same familiar SQL database capability and tools um, with it as well. And so the great thing is customers can kind of approach our cloud with a great deal of familiarity with what they already have today uh, and basically use the same tools and the same core skill set, uh, but now leverage our data centers and our building block services uh, to be even more productive and be more successful.